do you think, I'm assuming, uh, LGBT community and the black church can coexist? Absolutely. I, I, let me push that question, because... Hello? I once had Diddy text me, welcome to the family, but I was by a platinum-selling producer who was one of his cohorts. In an unexpected turn of events, the renowned American preacher T.D. Jakes, long revered for his spiritual teachings, has found himself entangled in a web of scandalous rumors surrounding none other than music mogul Sean Combs, also known as Diddy. Recent reports circulating on social media hinted at Jake's involvement in the secretive and controversial men, only gatherings hosted by Diddy. However, when confronted with these allegations during a weekend address to his congregation, the 66-year-old pastor took an astonishingly unexpected stance. In a moment that left the audience in disbelief, T.D. Jakes not only dismissed the claims, but also, with an air of hysteria, inadvertently confirmed something much more shocking. What dark secrets lie behind the closed doors of Diddy's exclusive parties, and how did T.D. Jakes become entangled in this unexpected controversy? Join us as we unravel the startling details and delve into the unexpected connection between the esteemed preacher and the world of Hollywood's most exclusive gatherings. Hey, Bishop Jakes. How What's are you? What's up, man? Oh, man, it's so good to see you. It's better to see you. How you doing? Looks like you're out in the sun. And before delving into the jaw, dropping statements made by the esteemed preacher T.D. Jakes, it's imperative to grasp the essence of the conflict that has sent shockwaves through the realms of spirituality and celebrity gossip. Brace yourselves for a revelation that goes beyond mere scandal. It's a tangled web of deceit, friendship, and a world of Hollywood's most exclusive gatherings. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the heart of this swirling controversy is the claim that T.D. Jakes and music mogul Sean Combs, famously known as Diddy, share a connection that goes beyond the spiritual sermons and gospel hymns. Whispers on social media have turned into a cacophony of rumors, with unverified reports suggesting that the two influential figures are not just close friends, but in fact, secret lovers. This clandestine relationship, if true, would add a new layer of complexity to the already explosive situation. But I'm not homophobic and I really don't, you know, care, you know what I'm saying? I just, but um, I'm bad at the game and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. While accusations against Diddy have been mounting, with four claims of sexual abuse surfacing in the past month, the pastor appears to turn a blind eye, ignoring the storm of controversy surrounding his close friend. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs bringing some serious claims against the music mogul. The bond between the preacher and the music mogul stretches back over the years, raising questions about the nature of their friendship and the extent to which T.D. Jakes might be involved in the alleged debauchery. Diddy's exclusive parties have long been shrouded in mystery, with rumors circulating that these gatherings are strictly for men, featuring an atmosphere of secrecy and indulgence. The speculation surrounding these events adds an air of intrigue to the scandal, leaving us to wonder what dark secrets lie behind the closed doors of Diddy's exclusive soirees. If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or s***. Adding another layer to the unfolding drama is the long-standing speculation about T.D. Jakes' sexuality. While personal matters, including one's sexual orientation, should be treated with sensitivity and respect, the rumors surrounding the pastor have persisted since the 2000s. The recent allegations bring these whispers to the forefront, pushing us to question the authenticity of the preacher's public persona. As we peel back the layers of this scandal, it's crucial to recognize the intertwined lives of T.D. Jakes and Diddy. Their collaboration on the show Kingdom Culture with T.D. Jakes was initially heralded as a partnership to bring inspirational sermons to a broader audience through revolt or audience through revolt. Little did the public know that this collaboration would become a focal point for whispers of scandal and controversy. The synergy between the preacher's spiritual teachings and Diddy's influence in the music industry created a platform that aimed to reach diverse audiences. However, the recent allegations have cast a shadow over this partnership, leading to questions about the authenticity of the messages shared on Kingdom Culture. The visual evidence of their camaraderie surfaced during a celebration of T.D. Jake's birthday, where Diddy and the pastor were captured in a seemingly joyous moment. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Social media erupted with speculation, dissecting every detail of the encounter. Some users even claimed that Diddy's hand gesture in the photos was a sign of his involvement with the Illuminati, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. The scandal surrounding T.D. Jakes takes a deeper plunge into the pastor's personal life with the arrest of his son, Jermaine Jakes, in a sexting operation. The arrest brought to light not only the son's actions, but also stirred up long-buried rumors about Bishop Jakes' own sexuality. The African-American LGBTQ community has been abuzz with speculation, echoing a pattern seen before with other evangelical figures who publicly denounced homosexuality. 
As we navigate through the twists and turns of this scandal, it becomes apparent that the personal lives of these public figures are intricately woven into the fabric of the controversy. The accusations against Diddy, the close friendship with T.D. Jakes, the exclusive parties, and the pastor's own son facing legal troubles. It's a narrative that blurs the lines between the public and the private, leaving us to question the authenticity of the images these figures present to the world. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and s***. I, just, I hope it was for money. In the aftermath of the explosive rumors surrounding T.D. Jakes and his alleged ties to Diddy's exclusive parties, the acclaimed preacher faced the storm head on during a weekend address to his congregation. Contrary to expectations, what unfolded was a spectacle of unexpected hysteria that left many in the audience stunned. Refusing to use the sacred pulpit to address what he referred to as a lie, T.D. Jakes delivered a jaw, dropping statement that did little to quell the swirling rumors. Out of concern, some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off, declared the 66-year-old pastor with an air of agitation. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. The congregation, anticipating a firm denial or clarification, was met with a pastor seemingly unable to refute the rumors with composure. Jakes, in a moment of high emotion, asserted, I am not here to convince nobody because I know who I am, leaving the onlookers bewildered and craving more insight into the alleged scandal. As the preacher hinted at addressing the matter later, the atmosphere in the church became charged with speculation and curiosity. Was T.D. Jakes struggling to maintain his composure in the face of mounting pressure, or was there a deeper truth yet to be revealed? The congregation, once solid in their admiration for the esteemed pastor, found themselves grappling with the unexpected twist in this unfolding drama. As we navigate the storm of rumors surrounding T.D. Jakes and his alleged ties to Diddy's exclusive parties, it's essential to acknowledge that this isn't the first time the esteemed pastor has raised suspicions. The controversial nature of T.D. Jakes extends beyond the current scandal, sparking debates about whether he's a pastor at all. Blessing is in what you got left. And if you will sow what you got left, God said I'll give you back whatever it was. Born in 1957 in South Charleston, West Virginia, T.D. Jake has built a reputation as a charismatic preacher and leader of the Potter's House, a megachurch in Dallas, Texas. However, his theological stance has long been a subject of controversy, particularly regarding the doctrine of the Trinity. Critics argue that Jakes is associated with oneness Pentecostalism, a belief system that denies the traditional understanding of the Trinity, opting instead for a modalist perspective. Modalism, also known as Sibelianism, asserts that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are not distinct persons, but different modes of existence of a single person. Jakes has been linked to this unorthodox position on the Trinity, emphasizing manifestations rather than persons. The Potter's House belief statement even reflects this, stating, There is one God, creator of all things, infinitely perfect, and eternally existing in three manifestations, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. While Jakes has denied being a modalist in recent times, the theological debate surrounding his teachings continues. This controversy raises questions about the authenticity of his role as a pastor and spiritual leader. The fundamental disagreement on the nature of the Trinity places him in the midst of theological disputes that extend beyond the sensational rumors circulating in the wake of the Diddy scandal. As we delve into the complexities of T.D. Jake's persona, it becomes apparent that the scandal surrounding his alleged involvement in Diddy's exclusive parties is just one layer of a multifaceted narrative. The blurred lines between the public and private lives of public figures add an extra dimension to the ongoing drama. The recent controversy with Diddy is not merely a standalone event, but intertwined with the existing skepticism surrounding Jake's theological stamp. This intricate web of scandals, theological debates, and rumors about the pastor's personal life creates a narrative that challenges the public's perception of the influential preacher. It is essential to note that Jake's influence extends beyond the walls of the Potter's House. With a congregation of around 17,000 people and a global reach through broadcasts, conferences, movies, and books, he holds a prominent position in both religious and secular spheres. His associations with figures like Oprah Winfrey and American presidents further contribute to his wide-ranging impact. The ongoing controversy surrounding T.D. Jakes underscores the delicate balance between the personal beliefs of a religious leader and the public scrutiny that comes with their influential status. The allegations against him, whether in the realm of theology or celebrity scandal, continue to raise eyebrows and challenge the perceptions of those who once held him in high regard. As we stand on the precipice of unraveling the multifaceted narrative surrounding T.D. Jakes, Diddy, and the swirling controversies that entwine their lives, we invite you, our valued audience, to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on the unexpected connection between the esteemed preacher and the world of Hollywood's exclusive gatherings? Do you believe in the rumors surrounding T.D. Jake's alleged involvement with Diddy, or do you think there's more to the story? Share your perspectives and insights in the comments below. Goodbye for now.